On the McCord Talks bundle on my big campus, you'll find a model example of my presentation all the way down here at the bottom. As you look through my presentation, you'll see that it's guided by Prezi, and it has quite a lot of information, including quite a bit of research. The presentation moves for over 10 minutes. So how exactly do I accomplish that? How do I get to that point? Is it simply because I am naturally ready to give that presentation? Not at all. If you follow each and every step of the project, you should be able to deliver a presentation that will earn a positive grade and one that you'll be proud of. So this video will remind you exactly of all the steps you need to complete in order to deliver a killer presentation. It started with topic proposal development. So in this model example, you see that I brainstormed a number of different topics. I didn't simply go with the first topic that came to mind. I thought about it for a moment. I thought about which topic would work for me based on my interests and my knowledge. And as I narrowed down from this list of 10, I eventually came up with a topic proposal. If you simply went with the first topic that came to mind, you probably took a shortcut, and you may have locked yourself into a topic that doesn't work. The lesson for this entire video is to follow directions. The directions are established for one and only one reason. They are the steps that I would follow to give a presentation. These are not extraneous steps given to students to burden them and make them do busy work in class. Rather, these are the steps that a good presenter would go through in order to give a good presentation. Don't take shortcuts. The next step was for me to think about my topic. Notice that this document is an extra document, one that I have created on my own just to take some notes. I took some notes, some random notes about what sort of ideas I want, a timeline, since my presentation is a chronological order presentation, and I included some of my research right here. Then I get to the worksheet assignment. I have taken my proposal information from my original proposal and moved it in here, and then I completed some research. Here in my notes, you'll see that as I was thinking about this, I did some research on dates, specifically release dates of video games and video game systems. Here, I have found all of those resources and linked them. I did reading on my research, and this is a step, once again, that you must follow through. The first step was topic proposal. The next step is research and thinking. And if you're not doing any research, or the research is not coinciding with your thinking, once again, you're taking a shortcut. After I've completed my research, I work on the outline. Now, my outline follows some brainstorming. And the brainstorming was walked through on the outline development video tutorial. But as you see, I've thought about this carefully. I took time to think about all the different issues that I want to talk about in my McCord talk, and then I arranged them in some sort of sensible order. That develops my outline. Introduction, arcade years, pong, a description of what I will do, and then all of my audio-visual support. I have seen student work that has followed my outline development to the letter and has produced a document that will very easily guide them through the rest of the presentation process. If you skip the outline, or if you write a substandard outline, then again, you will find the next step more difficult. And eventually, that difficulty will snowball into difficulty giving the presentation. Be complete in the outline. Make sure that your outline guides you through the process as well as mine. Next, I've written a script. The script is my way of showing in very great detail, moment to moment, what I will do with each slide and what I will say. If I were to get in front of an audience and give a presentation, most likely I would be improvising quite a bit. I might even be taking audience questions or interacting with the audience in some way during the presentation. However, developing a script will help me understand exactly what I want to accomplish and what I want to say. I can deviate from the script as I wish. But this will help me practice, rehearse the presentation, and understand what I want to do at every moment and with every slide. If you do not write a presentation, once again, you will be moving through the presentation development without much guidance. And unless you are absolutely naturally gifted at giving presentations and you know your topic like the back of your hand, you will lose your way, or what is most likely, 
you will find yourself unable to fill the time that you are given. So, complete the script. Don't take the shortcut. You have the time in class and out of class to write this script, and it will make you more comfortable. The next step is rehearsal, and we've been using MoveNote as a presentation practice tool. If you haven't used this yet, you will use this. So use MoveNote to rehearse your presentation and hear yourself. Share your presentation with others. One of the major reasons that students fail at presentations is to give substandard presentations and feel uncomfortable is that they do not rehearse. The MoveNote utility is an excellent way to rehearse and share those rehearsals with others. So make sure that you're doing it. Lastly, I spent quite a long time working on my Prezi presentation. You can work on a Prezi presentation or a Google presentation. Whichever one you wish, you should spend time with it and make sure you run through and fine tune every different step. If you, give a vis if you design a visual presentation in a very short amount of time, it could be a simple and effective presentation. Or it could be one that is simply substandard and only gives the bare minimum of emphasis to your points. Again, take time with this. So, to review, if you are accomplishing the McCord Talks assignment properly, you've taken time thinking about your topic, you've done some reading and some thinking, taking some notes, you've completed research, and you have completed a detailed outline, you have written a detailed script, you've rehearsed your presentation several times, and you have fine-tuned your visual aid. This represents hours of work. And if you've not completed these hours of work, then you will probably not do very well in the presentation. But above all, you won't feel comfortable in your presentation. You want to feel comfortable in your presentation and make sure you earn the best grade possible. Make sure to do that by avoiding shortcuts and completing each step of the assignment. Again, as I end, I will emphasize that this is the exact way that I would deliver a presentation of this type. Make sure you follow this approach and you should be just fine.